massive overseas point of sale company Lightspeed is coming in for a lot of flack at the moment uh, because of some changes they've made to their pricing and uh, particularly in in terms of fees that uh, appear to be applicable if you're not using the Lightspeed payments platform. And, you know, there's a lot of discussion about this on social media. Uh, I mean, here's a Facebook post that's publicly accessible. Um, we've been sent copies of emails that Lightspeed customers have received from Lightspeed. And they're all talking about this same thing, how Lightspeed is saying, if you don't use our payments platform, then there's going to be this fee to use um, the existing payment platform you might be using that's not from Lightspeed. You know, and there are people saying it's going to be $200 a month. Uh, we had one customer say their, their increase in fees is going to be about $700 a month. And, you know, these are small business retailers who are getting this notice from Lightspeed saying, hey, this software that you've been using, some of them have been using for several years, is now going to cost you hundreds of dollars more if you don't use the payments platform that we own, the payment platform that we want you to use. And, you know, naturally in small business retail, you get a bit um, antsy when you've got a big supplier who's already kind of connected with your business in a bunch of ways saying you must do this thing you must behave this way you must use this other service from us otherwise we're going to charge you a penalty like i said i, I own tower systems we're an australian point of sale software company um we don't care what fpos you use you know you can really connect with anything at all um and we connect with the major banks we connect with tyro uh, we connect with smart pay we got a whole bunch of platforms we connect with um, and our customers, we, we really, we're not forcing them to go any way or the other and there's no penalty charge either. We make our money from renting our software. We're a software company. That's what we should do. We should make our money from renting our software. We shouldn't make our money. We shouldn't be relying on revenue from a clip from credit card fees or from some other service. It's better for us and better for our customers that the money we make comes from renting our software. That's why I'm kind of surprised at what Lightspeed's doing. I, I don't have any insights within their business. Um, and clearly, they're, you know, they're a multi-billion dollar company. So they're very, very successful at what they do. Um, but I do wonder if they've made the decision as part of the way of cleaning out maybe customers they don't want. Maybe they want a certain size of business within their customer portfolio. And that could be the reason for them doing what they're doing. Anyway, you know, I've got no idea. What I do know is that there are a bunch of Lightspeed customers uh, who could benefit from our software. Not everybody, because our software isn't a perfect fit for every Lightspeed customer. N not at all. You know, we're interested in locally owned, independent small business retailers in around 16 different marketplaces. You know, jewelers, garden centers, bike shops, toy shops, pet stores, produce, farm supply businesses, charity businesses, news agents, gift shops. All of those sorts of businesses that are listed on our website are, are businesses that we create software for, businesses where we tailor our software to meet specific needs within those businesses. So if you're a Lightspeed customer or a Vend Lightspeed customer and you know, you're not happy with the additional fees that, that may be applying to you, maybe not, I don't know. But if you're not happy, we're happy to show you our software, happy, more importantly, to listen to what it is that's important to you. Because uh, one of the things that we want to make sure we do in every situation we encounter is to find out what the customer needs are or the prospect needs are. So we start there. What is it you're looking for? What is it your software that you have today does or doesn't do that you want to see covered properly in the new software? So we start with your needs. We want to understand those. If we're not right for you, we're going to say so. Uh, we've been in business too long to you know, try and trick people into going with software that's not right for them. So we'll happily say so and wish you all the best. If we do think we're right, then we'll make an offer for you to rent the software. It costs a few dollars a day. It's pretty cheap, but it's very functional. We've already got over 3,000 customers using our software here in Australia and New Zealand. So we're pretty proud about that. But I want to come back to um, what caused me to jump on here and make this video. Um, you know, we heard from a bunch of small business retailers saying, you know, I, I don't want to pay $200 a month or $300 a month or $700 a month extra just so I can use the payment platform that I'm used to using today. I don't want to be forced to go from my bank to use Lightspeed payments. Now, uh, we'll never do that. And that's 
a promise to you. We'll never do that. Um, as I said, we're a software company. We focus on making good software. We support our software well. Um, everything we do is human-based. Um, you call us, someone answers the phone. You call our help desk, somebody from either Australia or New Zealand answers that call. Um, and the advice we provide is very specific to our customers. Each question we get is unique, is different. And so we provide that personal service. So on top of you know, the payments query in, in relation to Lightspeed, there's also my comment about the fact that with Tower Systems, you're dealing with uh, an authentic, locally owned, locally connected, human-driven software company. We are not here to scale this business to turn over hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. We don't want to take over the world. We're not interested in that. Uh, we run this business very much around a small business ethos. We believe in small business. And we think one of the ways we can demonstrate that is to be focused solely on small business retailers. And that's what we're doing. So, hey, look, if you're a Lightspeed customer or a Venn Lightspeed customer and you're not happy with what's happening, check us out. If you're happy and really love the current software you're running, great. And we think that's fantastic. If you think there's potentially any interest in what Tower Systems offers, then check out our website. From there, you can see recent demonstrations of our software. You don't have to log in. You don't have to give us any details at all. We've made sure that our demonstrations, our live, sorry, our recorded demonstrations are available to anybody at all without any barrier uh, or fence around them. And if you'd like to look at what our software might do for your business, then reach out to us. One of our salespeople will find out what your needs are, and then they'll do a one-on-one -on -one demonstration with you, which they'll record and they'll give to you so that you can show other people in your business. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully uh, the Lightspeed situation sort of settles down and some of that stress that retailers are feeling goes away. Uh, my name is Mark Fletcher. I'm the owner of Tower Systems. Um, and if there's anything we can do to help, let us know. Thanks for watching.